questions out of, as to how to get your uh, custom weapon models into Fallout. Currently, modeling programs don't have the support for Fallout to export the NIF files in the correct format version and all that mumbo jumbo that I don't quite understand. Um, so for this tutorial, I'll show you how to get your models working with Fallout. Firstly, what you'll need to do is export your model as though you were exporting it for Oblivion. So export it as Oblivion, as an Oblivion file, diff, version, whatever, just, yeah, start with that. So for this, I'll use a weapon I made. Um, where did it go? I'll use this weapon right here that I made. Cut and paste, whatever. Anyway, so we have this weapon. As you can see, it's based off the 10 millimeter SMG. Um, so what you then what you'll need to do open it is open up a new Nipscope window, and we're going to load up a weapon that's the weapon that our our custom weapon is based off of. So for this, it will be the 10 millimeter submachine gun. This is uh, the reason for this is so that you get the animation, so that the animations are correct when you copy and your pa paste your pieces over. So, firstly, what we're going to need to do, um, we're going to move these cylinder thingamajiggies over. What we're going to need to do, we're going to on the 10 millimeter gun, we're going to click on the main body so that it highlights the block that it is. We're going to right click it and then go to block, copy branch, and then go up to the very top of the list for the BS fade node, which should be block zero. We're going to block paste branch. And what this will do is it will create a essentially a duplicate of the body of the gun. Then we come back over to our weapon, highlight the uh, object so we can find it in the list, and then we need to go down the list a little bit so that we can find the block, the NI tri strips data block, which is part of this one. So for these, the object is block one, and the NI tri strips data is block seven. We're going to right click that, go to block, and copy. Not copy branch, just plain copy. So we did that. Go back over to the other weapon, highlight the arm, select the piece we're going to replace, go down to its NI tri strips data. For this, it's block 34. We right click on that, go to block, and paste over. A little paste over warning will come up saying NIF versions differ. Just click continue. And as you can see, the cylinders are now on the weapon. They look kind of, they look different because they're using the texture of the whatever object we replaced. Well, I'll get, over, get into how to change that in just a second. So now let's uh, copy these tubes over. So again, we need to select the main, or select an object. Yeah. Right click on the NI tri strips, block, copy branch, to the top, block, paste branch. Then we come back over here, find the object's NI tri strips data, block, copy, find this one's NI tri strips data, right click, block, paste over, continue, and there we have that. So the tubes are on and the cylinders are on. So now the thing, or as you can see on this model, we have a, the clip is different and it consists of two objects. Something a little different you need to do for the clips. As you can see, the clip is animated to move for when, when you reload. So for this, we're going to click on the clip. We're going to right click block copy branch just like before but for this one we need to find the it uh, uses a different node for this one it's block 9 and I node um, SMG clip whatever so, um, so like as though we were going to put a static
thing like these tubes or cylinders or whatever we're going to right click on there block paste branch and so then we have essentially two clips then like before we can select like for this one the batteries we can go to the ni tri strips data block copy and I try to data block paste over continue and then as you can see it pastes over and we're going to do the same for the other part block copy select the clip block paste over continue and so there we have it and as you can see they're not lined up the way they should be so um, let's you can click on for this the batteries and then in the block details uh, you can go to the translation and wait yeah that won't work um, you'll have to line those up with the translation things let's change them I don't know what the exact values are but you'll need to figure them out yeah, that. I don't I don't know exactly what they are Anyway, you just play with those to line them up if you need to. The clip is generally always going to need to be realigned, depending on how you model and all that. Anyway, so that's how you get the objects into weapons. Now you're going to want to obviously change the textures because, you know, leaving the, the old textures you know, looks ugly. So what we do, we're going to change the textures on these cylinders going to click on them to highlight them in the block list. Then we need to find the, uh, just go down the list a little bit until you find the block BS shade shader texture set. Click on that. Down in the block details you can click on the plus next to textures and here we have different texture blocks that we can fill in. Uh, these correspond to the different types of textures um, what are they? Let me look at that just a second. Essentially, it's like a texture set. If we, uh, the first, uh, so the first one here corresponds to the diffuse, the second one, normal, glo normal slash gloss, environment, glow, skin, whatever, height, environment, whatever those are. We won't need to deal with all those, we just need to replace them. So bring up our other weapon um, for the cylinders. Click on the cylinders. It has the texture right here. Copy that, double click and top, copy that, double click, paste here. We need to change this one to the normal map, so paste and then add the underscore n. Alternative you can Alternatively, you can right click and just go to texture, choose, and then find whatever texture you are going to use for it. But I just took the easy way for that. Now we're going to do the same for the tubes. Go to the shader texture set, click on that, paste that, paste, underscore n. So we're, we're applying the texture and the normal map. So as you can see, that's how you get that. It'll change the textures. Copy the texture here. Texture set. Double click paste. Paste. Underscore n. And that's how you change the texture. So with this, as you can see, if we move the little slider, the animation slider, you'll see that they'll move with the animation. Uh, again, you'll need to deal with the rotate with the placement of the clip pieces, but eh. unless you're using this the old clip, then you don't even have to replace the clip. But anyway, as you can see, it moves with it. You can save this, plop it in game, and it should work. Don't forget what? Actually, never mind. That should be it. Hope you enjoy it. And get some new weapons out there because the old ones are boring.